to next up we have elizabeth howell with space.com liz hello thank you um maybe this is for nicole um trying to get frank into that uh crew dragon must have been one of the most interesting applications of just-in-time training can you talk about how you and the rest of the crew and of course frank um got that scenario together thanks Well, it was really the teams at NASA and SpaceX that worked very closely to come up with a plan quite quickly um, so that we can safely add a seat to Dragon and return Frank. Um, Josh actually put the seat liner in Dragon, so do you want to talk to that, Blue? Yeah, absolutely. And Dan, if you could help us out, if you could mute uh, while we're answering, because we're getting a bit of an echo up here. Uh, but yeah, Frank and I worked together uh, to to install that, um, and it was uh, really cool to work with uh, Aki. Aki, who had obviously been on uh, Crew 2, uh, was on the ground and had gone through the whole procedure when he was out at Hawthorne, and so we were able to uh, work very closely with him. Um, there are a couple differences uh, as we were, uh, you know, putting the putting the wrenches in place. You know, we had a little some clearance issues that weren't uh, weren't apparent in Hawthorne. Uh, we worked through it and. Uh, Got uh, Frank a great little seat um, that I actually wouldn't mind riding in too. It's uh, it looks pretty comfy down there, and he doesn't have to hear to hear us talk. He doesn't have a, a headset in that case, so uh, he uh, he's not going to hear us uh, running our mouths up there in our seats. All right, we're getting to some follow-ups now. Let's go back to Elizabeth Howell with Space.com, Liz. Thanks for finding me again. Uh, Koichi, can you talk about your new colleagues, the two new Japanese astronauts that have been selected, and uh, your feelings about the program going forward? Thank you. Yeah, it's really exciting to, to hear the news. Uh, on Tuesday, I saw the news of the Yoneda-san and Suwa-san selected. Uh, a very capable and a very uh, uh, interesting uh, background, and um, I really look forward to working with them. This is the best timing. Fifteen years ago in March, the Japanese uh, first module was launched to the space station and uh, the government of Japan has decided to join the extension of the space station and also we are working with the partners for the uh, lunar missions in the Gateway program. So uh, for them, they have uh, plenty of opportunities in the low Earth orbit as well as uh, for the moon exploration. So I feel very envi envious, uh, but uh, I would like to uh, convey what I have experienced uh, as an astronaut and I would like to support them for their training as well as for their space flight. All right, we're going to switch over to some social questions now. Reminder for reporters, press star one if you're on the phone bridge to get into the queue. Uh, the first one from Elaine on Twitter wanted to know if anybody in Crew 5 saw any of those outrageous auroras over the past couple nights. Okay, so Monday morning, um, I headed into Node 3, uh, which is where our restroom is, but also uh, where the, the beautiful cupola is. And it was really dark in there, and I was about to take care of some uh, business that we have to do up here as astronauts doing uh, different samples, and it's kind of a miserable process. Um, and it was really dark, and then I heard this little voice uh, down hanging in the cupola, and uh, Duke says, Blue, you got to see this. Uh, and I came down, and we just soaked it all in on Monday morning, uh, and just in a little feeling a little guilty that we weren't in a position that we had the words to describe what we were seeing. It was really remarkable. We were over North America, uh, very, uh, very, very northern part, uh, you know, at the maximum uh, latitude that we can get. And uh, so on Tuesday, we uh, we took advantage of uh, an opportunity. We had a half day, and uh, Duke can talk to you about it. But we got set up uh, on a time lapse, and we got some uh, pretty amazing photography. We were giddy yesterday when we saw it. It was really fun. Koichi's done a lot of ta time lapse, so he had that expertise, and Josh got it all uh, focused and set up. And I think we took maybe three night passes mm -hmm. worth of photography. It was just incredible. Um, but yeah, I woke up that morning just early and thought I'd spend some time in the cupola, maybe soaking in some of those, you know, last uh, nighttime views before we depart. And I couldn't believe the aurora. The coolest thing to me is that as the sun rose, um, you could still see 
the northern lights. And so you get all those amazing colors of the sunrise, the deep red to the orange to the blue, but you could still see the green of the aurora. And I have a friend, Amy, that lives in Alaska. I happened to talk to her on Tuesday, and she mentioned this incredible uh, northern lights that she saw. And she said, you know, if Alaskans are talking about the northern lights, it's got to be good. So she sent pictures from Earth, and we sent her pictures from space. It was pretty special.